Okay guys, in this tutorial we are going to show how to use the ACP port. ACP stands for Accelerator Coherency Port. Basically, it's just uh, a way that your, uh, that your PL part will communicate with your PS part faster. The ACP port has a direct connection to the cache. So, in theory, uh, the data transfer between the PL part and the PS part can be faster, okay? Uh, as, I sh as I shown, the last tutorial was quite simple. It was just this do game block that just multiply the input stream by a number who comes through the axis light interface. Sorry, for the ax through the axis stream interface. And in the last tutorial, we use the high performance port of the zinc. In this tutorial, we're going to change a little bit. We're going to use the, the ACP port and, uh, and I'll show one of the big advantages of using this port. So cool. Uh, PS, PL. So instead of using the HP slave port, now we're going to use the ACP port. Okay? So basically we're going to just disconnect this guy. Let me just check in where he was connected. Okay, just here. So we disconnect here and uh, we connect this guy here. Okay, so uh, we can disable the HP port. We don't need that anymore. And uh, I'm going just to disconnect this guy, uh, disable the, the old high performance port and uh, Validate just to verify if everything still is still fine. Let's check. Uh, the following pins clock are not connected. Okay, so basically, maybe what I'll do, I'll run the connection automation and maybe he will already do all the job for me. So let's check. By the way, guys, while I was validating, by, by the way, cool, no errors, let me just show you the difference. Okay, in the previous tutorials, we use this, uh, this high performance port, okay? So the DMA connect to, uh, with the high performance port, and we send data to the, to the DDR. By the way, exchange data to the DDR. The ACP port, goes directly to the snoop control unit and w where is the and where the cache of our arm processor is placed so really uh the big difference by using the acp port is that we don't need to do all that uh that uh, that cache invalidation and cache cleaning that we did in the previous example okay so uh now that we know that the validation is fine we just generate the bit stream and uh, we wait for the to, for the whole process to finish. I will pause and uh, come back when it's done. Okay, so now the B-stream uh, generation is complete. We're going to export uh, our hardware, including the B-stream for our for Xilinx SDK. And uh, actually, you guys will notice the difference from Xilinx SDK because basically we don't need any more to clean the caches but let's switch to the code and it'll be easier okay so basically the the code for uh, for using the ACP port and the HP port is more or less the same uh, in, in the end we need to initialize your peripherals as before you initialize your DMA as well and uh, the only difference is first, you we are going to disable the the D cache, okay? Actually, we don't want to use the the functions for uh, the software 
cash management, okay, which is slow. And by the way, that's why we use this report. And uh, so first, we don't need to flush our cash and we don't need to invalidate it as well. So basically, everything keeps the same. The only difference is that we don't need to flush nor invalidate. And uh, we use this cache disable line here, okay? And basically, the, the results will be the same, but with less latency. Okay, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. The next video, I'm going to talk about the Axie Master. Uh, I just had to stop here to to answer this because it was one of the questions of some of our subscribers and uh, actually he asked me this like one month ago. So hope you guys enjoyed and this could be useful for you guys as well. Okay, uh, see you guys.